Today I'll be showing you five free oscilloscopes that can be used on a kick based group channel to monitor the waveforms and detect any phasing issues. I'm using a kick and bass sample here which I made using kick2 and serum. Okay, so here we have the five oscilloscopes lined up in the group channel and I'll be showing and reviewing each one of them. Okay, the first oscilloscope that I'll be reviewing and showing you is SM Exoscope by Smart Electronics. This is an absolutely free device and I've left the download links in the description below. This is where you can see the waveform display. You can adjust the waveform display time. I would recommend this setting and also you can adjust the amplitude. There's also a freeze option. You can freeze your waveform and analyze your kick and your bass. This oscilloscope has four re-trigger modes and by default it is always set to the free mode. Usually the waveform does not sync to the tempo very easily but here is a trick that I use to sync waveform to tempo. It might not be the correct way but it does the job for me. I will tweak around with the re-trigger level by adjusting the level slider on the side. You can keep doing this until you see your kick and your bass in a single frame. I'm also changing the volume levels just to see if there are any corresponding changes in the waveform in real time and in this case you can see it's when I'm reducing it the waveform gets more diminished. This is indeed helpful if you want to monitor and detect any phasing issues and correct them. This oscilloscope also contains an analysis tool that can be used to analyze the waveform. So on the whole, the SM Exoscope is a great tool and used by many top producers. The best part is it's absolutely free and it's very accurate in its response. So to learn more and download it, you can visit the link below. Okay, so the next oscilloscope is my favorite and I use it a lot. It's called the Oslos Megascope. The one I'm using in this video is a full version. However, there's also a free version of the same. There's some really cool features. Firstly, starting, you can change your waveform colors. You can change the length of the waveform on display. There's also a freeze option. And you can also adjust the amplitude of the waveform. You can also adjust how your waveform is displayed. Here's the best part of the Megascope. You can place the device on individual channels and in this case on a kick and bass channel and you have the option to monitor the waveforms of each instrument individually or in the combined mode. So here's the device on a solo kick channel. I will do the same, I will put a device on the solo bass channel. I will just change the color of the bass waves so that we can differentiate. So now here we have the kick and here we have the bass lines. Now with a separated option, we can view the kick and bass on two different levels on the waveform display. The combined view helps to monitor any phasing issues with the kick and bass and since this device syncs to the tempo, you can adjust the phase of instruments in real time. By far, I find the Megascope a hugely useful device and I would recommend the same to all. Ok, so the next oscilloscope is a free plugin called Oscilloscope by Soka Labs. It has limited functions as compared to the previous two plugins. You can shift your sample position. And you can also zoom in to get a clearer picture of your waveform. With this plugin, you have to manually adjust the waveform 
to sync with your tempo so what I do is I usually play around with the trigger level until it's absolutely static and then I shift the position around the trigger position it's slowly sinking to the tempo and we can tweak it further for better results We can now see the complete display of the waveform of the kick and bass in real time. So with a little adjustments here and there, the oscilloscope can be a very useful device. Ok so the next oscilloscope is called the Oscarizor by Sugar Audio. It looks like it has a lot of functions but the one in the video is a free version but you'll need to buy the full version in order to access all the functions. So here is your waveform display. The plugin also has three different modes. It has a scope, a spectrum analyzer and goniometer. Which is kinda cool. It's like a 3-in-1 device. So on the bottom panel there are tons of different knobs and switches. This is to adjust your length of your waveform. There is also a vertical zoom option. Also shift the position around we can zoom in horizontally so with your free version you need to find your sweet spot and adjust your waveform to sync to the tempo but in the full version there's an option to sync waveform to tempo Also this plugin has a lot of little knobs and switches all around so you need to be careful not to tweak anything. free version definitely has very limited functions and by upgrading to the full version you can use the other cool features that this plugin has to offer ok so the last oscilloscope plugin on this video is a brand new plugin released just yesterday the oculoscope by boom shankar machines it's a free plugin and it's in the memory of ocular who was one of the finest Cytrans producers of our times. Also you can follow the link in the video description if you want to make some donations for his cause. Ok here is a first look at the oculoscope. It's a tempo sync oscilloscope. Here is an option to switch between the bar and the beat view. Also there are certain other options, scope style you can switch between the linear and the filled mode. And there's a color scheme too, there's a dark and light color scheme. You can also adjust the size of the plugin manually, which is pretty cool I think. Ok, here is another option where you can combine primary and sidechain inputs. It's uh, kind of similar to the Megascope. Uh, 
I'm just trying to uh, fiddle around with the side chain option and kind of monitor the waveforms. Okay, here's another very cool feature where you can only monitor the bass or the kick waveforms. In this case, I'll just look at the bass. Here, I'm just increasing the gain, and you can see that it is only affecting the bass waveforms and not the kick. I think it's a good way to monitor your channels individually. So far, this uh, plugin looks very promising and it's just brand new. So I'm sure many of you will explore new ways to use this plugin. It's a user-friendly plugin with an accurate response and it does the job just fine. Looking forward to using this. So I hope I could take you through a quick tour of these oscilloscope plugins. It's just my take on these plugins and there's no bias whatsoever. If you like the video, do put a like and hit the subscribe button. Thank you.